Hello guys, this is Bravo Delta 6 Charlie Romeo and today I'd like to introduce you a some uh, fun stuff and uh, this is it this is a uh, called a sandwich digital VFO it is a kit product provided by crkits.com as you can see uh, it's made by three boards so that's why it's called a sandwich digital VFO and the front is a control board uh, this is a rotary encoder and this is a dual color LED and uh, in the back side is the oscillator board and the, the core IC is Silicon Labs SI5351A and this is a crystal 27 megahertz and uh, there are three outputs this one this one is for BFO output this one is for uh, VFO output and this is for a uh, calibration output and there's also a jumper here the jumper is to use used to select ITU region uh, 1 or 3 by default is open but if you want to choose um, region 2 uh, you need to short these two uh, pads and uh, in the middle is the uh, Arduino Pro Mini uh, here we use the 3.3 volt uh, 8 megahertz SKU uh, at this side is the uh, serial uh, download pins so you can use a, a USB to TTL uh, converter and uh, download uh, software and up update uh, the, the software right it can work with uh, the uh, KNQ7A SSB transceiver and uh, we already installed it and uh, before the install you need to remove a, a couple of components here you can see two capacitors uh, crystals of course here a, a control a a10k uh, used for a tune and also here uh, the vc and a couple of other components here you need to remove that and uh, install in the place of the tune potentiometer and uh, protruding this LED here and I um, uh, need to connect three uh, connections this is for the VFO connection connected by a, a 104 capacitor now this pad is the, the output and this is a ground okay and this is just for a better uh, grounding okay and this this pad is for a calibration output and uh, this pin is output for bfo and also it's one or four capacitor and should co connect to here and this is also ground okay so after the connection let's see how we can uh, align and uh, you know use it the sandwich digital vfo has uh, um, several modes and when you power on it the default mode is a uh, normal mode and uh, the led is is red showing that uh, it's uh, at uh, the default uh, operating frequency for uh, region uh, 1 and 3 it's 7100k and uh, if um, you press and hold the, the uh, rotary encoder and uh, power on it The LED actually is uh, orange, 
showing that it's in the BF4 calibration mode. But if you press it once, and the LED turns green, and now it's uh, the uh, crystal calibration mode. Uh, it's very crucial to calibrate the crystal before you actually uh, use it because the crystal has some uh, tolerance and uh, you need uh, to uh, uh, calibrate it uh, to the uh, accurate number. So in order to do this, you need to hook a frequency counter to the calibration output pin here. So connect to this pin and uh, then uh, clip on the ground ground wire okay so it's good and now you press and uh, press the button and the power on it connect the power and uh, you can see the LED is uh, orange and this is a uh, BF4 calibration mode and you press it once and it goes to the crystal calibration mode and uh, the frequency counter shows that uh, 100095 so you need to turn this knob and uh, uh, to change that to 100000 okay so you need to change that very close now okay I think this is a very close right and now to enable or to make the effective you need to press it again okay so it's already stored in the uh, memory so if you press it again, you can see, yeah, it's, uh, it's there. So it's now accurate. So this is uh, for crystal calibration. And if you change it to BFO calibration, you can uh, tune the BFO. Um, and you know, this is uh, very similar to the way that you tune uh, KNQ7A uh, BFO. And um, you can use a audio spectrum analyzer software to connect to the speaker output here and then connect another side to the microphone input and uh, you, uh, you can turn this one a little bit and to see the spectrum of the audio output uh, fall into like uh, 300 hertz to like a 3000 uh, hertz then it should be good right so okay we, we just uh, skip that and uh, uh, show you something about uh, how to uh, uh, tune the uh, this radio with just a one uh, LED In order to uh, actually test it, I needed to connect to the dummy load. This is a homemade dummy load, uh, 8 watt, 50 ohm. And uh, also a, this is a very handy power supply. Okay, that's all. And uh, also I needed to connect uh, a speak mic here you can hear some noise okay seems to be good and uh, now it's at uh, the default frequency 7100 if you are a American SKU or ITU region 2 SKU if you jump those wire here 
then the default is 7200 okay let's power on my k2 uh, let me transmit something to see if we can receive properly okay now k2 is exactly tuned to 7100 and the mode is lsb okay so let's transmit hello cq 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 it works perfectly and um, so the frequency is very accurate and exactly at 7100 so if i tune a little bit now the led turns to green which means that now it's 7101 and i needed to tune here 7101 let's transmit again hello cq cq great so uh, you know the 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 system works uh, properly so if i want to change the step then how can i do then i press the button once okay then i turn like uh, five step forward one two three four five and i also turn five step forward seven one zero one point five okay let me transmit again hello cq cq okay it works great and uh, let me switch back again oh the green light is on again so it means that it goes back to 7101 and uh, i need to turn back 7101 cq cq great so let me introduce uh, the tuning system a little bit. Uh, just one LED, but how can I uh, show the frequency? And uh, even, you know, it's like kHz, like 10 kHz, 100 kHz, and uh, also like 100 Hz. How, how can we uh, show all these complicated information just by one dual color LED? so let's start with uh, the default frequency when it's power on it becomes red and uh, it's uh, at uh, 7100 and the default uh, step a uh, tuning step is uh, 1 kHz so if you tune uh, one step it's uh, green another step it's it's not a not on right it's off so another step green another step off so when you know you see green it means that uh, it's at uh, like one three five seven nine kHz right so if it's not on then it means like at two four six eight kHz and uh, when you see this is uh this is not red this is orange and uh, when you see orange it means that like 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 90 kHz right so when you see red okay this is red red means 100 kHz so it's uh you know you, you can tell you know the frequency um, by seeing these colors and also we have uh, out of band warning information out of band warning is also indicated by a red led but the the difference is that if you uh you are in uh, uh like 100 kHz not out of band if you turn left or turn right you can both see uh, green lights but if it's uh, really out of band for example uh, it's uh, at uh, the you know if you if it's at a lower end if you turn lower again you know it's it's always red but if you turn one step back it's uh, green it means that right now it's 7001 kHz right 
So if uh, you change that by clicking here, and right now is 100 hertz uh, step. So yeah, you can see that LEDs is is off. Uh, you turn like uh, several times, but it's still off. But uh, the green LED is on again means that it's on a uh, you know exact kHz uh, in the 100 hertz mode. The like two four six eight kHz also shows green. So you can see every time when you on exact kHz the LED will be green, okay? But another thing here is that uh, if you are not at the exact kHz and with you switch back to the kHz step mode, normally you will see that, you know, it will go back to the exact kHz. 